my friends, it is the 8th of August 2022 and I'm on my way to Dusseldorf to catch CFL's only intercity service running just one time a day. CFL being Luxembourg's national railway. So we're heading to Luxembourg city. Thank you so much for joining in today and let's begin our trip report. Start point for today's journey is the Ahem, magnificent building of Dusseldorf Hauptbahnhof. Our train will depart from platform 15 at 13.45 in the afternoon and despite being an intercity, this train will be calling at a lot of stations along the way before arriving in Luxembourg at 17.51, just in time for dinner. I won't list all the stations we'll be stopping at, but Cologne, Bonn, Koblenz, Kochen and Trier are the most important ones. Our train for today is a Stadler Kiss operated by CFL in cooperation with Deutsche Bahn. These trains normally run on the RE11 service between Luxembourg and Koblenz as regional express trains, meaning this intercity service is actually just a short extension on the Koblenz side. Therefore, this so-called intercity has less to offer than what you're used to in Germany. There's no catering on board and seating is according to regional train standards except if you book yourself in first class, but the seats are pretty nifty. And if they look familiar, yes, these seats are the same as on the ICE 3, ICE T and classic IC coaches of Deutsche Bahn. CFL started this service to provide a direct link with the capital of North Rhine-Westfalen. The economic ties with the city is strong and providing a train service without transfer might help some people choose to train over the car. Or at least, that's what they are attempting to. Deutsche Bahn once provided regular direct intercity service from Norddijk via Dusseldorf and Koblenz to Luxembourg, but discontinued them in December 2014. Since December 2017, CFL tries to fill in that gap and I'm not sure how popular this intercity train is. Only three people boarded my cabin who traveled all the way to Luxembourg. While we are cruising to Cologne, let's talk about the first class cabin. Seat reservation is possible only in first class. Some seats are facing each other and those are provided with a very large table. The recline is pretty good. And here I put the rear seat in full recline and the front one upright. Below your seat you'll find a power socket for each passenger. We are now crossing the River Rhine while approaching Cologne over the famous Hohenzollernbrücke. After a short stop we pass by the train yard and make our way to Bonn. Time for some lunch. Düsseldorf and any other major railway station in Germany offers a lot of choice for takeaway. I went for the double buckfish baguette from Nordsee and a coke. After reaching Bonn, the train tracks will line up with the River Rhine offering excellent views if you are seated on the left hand side in the direction of travel. Koblenz is in sight, and here our intercity will be downgraded to a regional express service, stopping at almost every station along the route. While waiting at Koblenz Hauptbahnhof, let's have a look around the train. The footage is taken from the day after this trip. This is the second class lower deck. Here we have the upper deck.
with some longitude seating at the end. And here is the middle deck. In the middle lower deck you will find a multifunctional room where there is a space for wheelchair users and bikes. The two only toilets are here as well and both were pretty clean on my ride. Here is a shot of the regional first class cabin which isn't used on the intercity service. You will find them on the RE11 and on various domestic routes within Luxembourg. We are now leaving Koblenz and will follow the river Mosel, famous for its fairy tale town like Kochem and the many vineyards. Take a seat on the left hand side in the direction of travel for the best view. After a wonderful ride we arrive in Trier, the oldest city in Germany with many relics from the Roman Empire. After leaving Trier, we cross the river Mosel one more time before arriving in Wasserbillig, the first town in Luxembourg. From here, this sticker in first class finally makes sense. Public transport is free of charge for everyone in Luxembourg, except if you want to travel in first class on their trains. The final stretch of Luxembourg city is uneventful, but there's one last spectacular sight to behold. Go swap to the right side on the direction of travel and take your camera out for a spectacular view of this fairy tale like city. After a ride of 4 hours and 6 minutes we arrive on time in Luxembourg city. A scenic ride along Germany's two famous rivers comes to an end. Having a direct train from Dusseldorf is handy, but not a game changer. Many will take one of the dozen Deutsche Bahn trains to Koblenz and transfer there to the hourly train to Luxembourg. Still, a train ride along the river Mosel is something I will definitely recommend you to do. Be it on this intercity or on the regional express service. And that was CFL's Intercity Service running one time a day. Thank you so much for joining in and coming along today. Take care guys and we'll see each other in the next video.